so i was surfing reddit the other day when i came across a post introducing a brand new switch emulator called Eden. intrigued by its name and promises of a fresh start i decided to dig a little deeper and today i'm sharing all the exciting details i uncovered about Eden, a project that might change the game for switch emulation if you love emulator news and want to stay updated on the latest tech for gaming on Android and PC, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and click the bell for notification. Let's get started. So what exactly is Eden? Eden is a brand new Nintendo Switch emulator that's emerging onto the scene. It's part of the same family as other popular folks like Yuzu, Sudachi and even Citron. But what makes Eden stand out? Eden is being developed by a person known as Camel. For those of you who follow Switch emulation news, you might know that Camel was a key developer behind Citron. With Eden, he is starting fresh without the baggage of previous internal conflicts. Now when it comes to performance, early testers have mentioned that Eden shows promising signs of smooth, fast performance. Although we haven't seen full official benchmark yet, some initial impressions suggest that games run at a good frame rate even for demanding titles. Eden is also expected to perform well on Android, making it a potential exciting option for mobile gamers who want to enjoy Switch games on their devices. Unlike some controversial practice seen before, early reports hint that Eden might be avoiding invasive data collection methods to ensuring better privacy for its users. Now let's talk about how Eden came to be. As you might recall, Citron was once a promising Switch emulator. But however, over time it got entangled in controversy. So Citron was developed by a team that included Camel and another developer known as Zephyrin. While Citron initially impressed with solid performance, internal conflict soon arose. And many in the community note that Camel, the main force behind much of Citron code, had his contribution downplayed or removed, which ultimately led him to split off. So, fueled by the desire to recapture what made Citron shine without all the internal drama, Camel began work on Eden. The aim is to deliver all the benefits of Citron early breakthrough smooth performance, stable gameplay, and a user-friendly interface while ditching the controversial practices and aggressive moderation that alienated many users. So now you might be wondering why there was such a push to start something new. Here is a quick recap of the issues with Citron. Citron's Discord server implemented a strict verification system. So this sometimes included collecting sensitive information like hardware IDs, and serial numbers which made many users uncomfortable and led to massive bans. So disputes between the developers created an environment of mistrust when Camel work was sidelined or removed from Citron's GitHub. So as a result, many users start questioning whether Citron was worth the risk and this ultimately paved the way for Camel to launch Eden, a fresh start to build on what originally worked well without the addition baggage. So this controversy is important context, but the real excitement lies with what Eden promises to deliver. So my final thoughts on this emulator. Is Eden going to be the best emulator we need in 2025? Well, it's too early these days, but Eden shows a lot of promise. And with it focus on robust performance, Android compatibility, and a cleaner, more privacy-friendly approach, Eden might very well become a standout option among Switch emulators. I'm really looking forward to seeing more benchmarks and public release. If Eden lives up to the hype, it could be the fresh start the community has been waiting for. So what do you think? Are you excited about Eden or are you planning to stick with your current emulator? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this update, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more emulation and gaming news. I'll be sure to cover any new developments on Eden as they come in. See you next time. Thanks for watching.